African hip hop, how you doing? Tonight, tonight, that we show you how the final battles went down in each country. I know we left you with the top two, but as you know, only one MC can rap per country, and in essence, only one MC can rap for Africa. In South Africa, the final was Maraza Ace up against Adonis. <laughs> Smack him. But I really do not want to be the one who kills our doormen. Yes. Botswana, Oracle up against Civil Knight. This <laughs> came to stage walking all his borrowed clothes. Yeah. His name is Civil Knight. He sounds more like a crippled dyke. Ghana, props up against Serial. It's because you got the limp and no money. I'm the real star battling. Because like Channel O, I'm originally African. Nigeria, Dirty A up against Black G's. Black G's is about to kill Sean Kingston. You can't test was point blank up against Calligraph. Flow faster, cause you're looking at the eyes of Calligraph, your own master. Break you with the skin. Cause you know, Luke, I'm your father, look at the Star Wars gear. This is the thing I'm gonna tell you, wear the same color colors. Ooh. That's how it all went head to head. The moment of truth begins now. Who took it? Basin was South Africa, the current MC Africa champs. We saw MCs come through from all era codes in SA, and the judging lineup, Double HP, Zubs, and Intabi were not playing games. So even when MCs tried to bribe their way into the top 10 by throwing cash, they got nowhere. Pop that change, pulling on the money. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, stop me, me what it do. And soon MCs found out that though you were from the same area as Double HP, that wasn't going to help too. Adamas came through on a whole different tip when the judges gave him snaz as the topic and let's just say he flipped the switch on everyone. Snaz is a dope MC, I'll always walk in his shoes. He taught me how to rap, but I pay dues. And even if they bring better judges, I'm not holding grudges. I kick rap styles with the microphone in my clutches, so dope. Two in SA saw Thomas make his way back. This time round, he was up against Maraza Ace. This definitely started out what turned out to be a trend throughout the season of the old school versus the new school in the final battle. Here's how it went down. Keep this same jam, Ali. Your rhymes don't tally, so just shut up. I kick rhyme stuff that make you give up. So you are out of luck. Son, you just got star struck. You trying to make me give up. I told you this ain't jam, Ali. Don't pull Let's go. Okay, if the rhymes that are right are used for the ass wipe, that means I'm the and I got the class right. I teach you. I reach you. I Thomas, come through. I'll beat you. We touched base in Botswana, pretty much not sure of what we would find. But as it turned out, Botswana brought through some of the dopest SSCs and the funniest moments in MC Africa too. I feel like you're ready for a pool party. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Afternoon sessions. Yeah. Later on, you know how you do. Be it Dizzo doing his Kanye West thing, or MCs talking about chicken and rice. Everything is tight like a plate of chicken and rice. Mix that up with our entertaining judges, Dr. Zeus, Shike, and Scar, who were never short for words or advice, but Swana definitely brought it. I, I'm speechless, because the thing is, he just came out and battled an entire and region. He battled, that's right. you know what I mean? For tonight, that is the ether. In some cases, certain MCs made it through that left the judges and the viewers a little bit concerned. This was also the first time that two MCs went head to head and both MCs went through to the top five. It came down to the old school versus the new school, or in this case, the student up against the teacher, as Sybil Knight went up against his mentor and legendary rapper, Oracle. So, who schooled who? The land of the Black Stars Ghana gave us more than we could have ever imagined or hoped in terms of numbers of MCs coming through and of course all the drama that started even before the mic session opened. This is our competition. Right, Y'all just don't understand. Do. What is these people doing here? Hey, homeboy, you can't even test that dramatic flavor. You was a disappointed rapper. 
What is in there? 20M juice. Can we see it? 20M, can you, you gonna bring it out the back so we can see? That 20M juice, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the last bird first. YFM, the live bad one, YFM. Trust me, I don't even want to hear you rap, man. <laughs> True story, man. I mean, who can forget Robin Hood and Melodrama going up against each other? Robin Hood, are you, you walking away? Yes, yes, yes. Wait, so He's he, nice, what? let him take it. He's giving up right there, I hope you witness this. I want to go the second round, please. Oh, oh, begging no. them, please, oh, Charlie. Oh, Oh, Padlock, everyone's favorite, and Ghana's current number two, the Lyrical Machine, made it all the way to the top five. Feels like I'm on Microsoft. Someone clicked the recycle bin. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, oh. But he had an untimely exit. And between all of this excitement and rappers, Quaker T, Jeremy, and Scientific were left with the heavy task of crowning the illest MC in the GH. So after one of the longest nights in MC Africa history and the most emotional night for certain, Serial and Props managed to make it all the way to the top two. Props had the crowd on his side and Serial, he was pretty new to most. Here's how it all went down. I don't want to know what I'm wish. I don't even want to touch you. On the real, stop battling. Cause like Channel O, I'm originally African. Plus an MC. So MC Africa, take a look. Dog, that's me. Shout out, don't interject, that's incorrect. These speakers get wrecked when I intersect text. Don't get me vexed. You don't want to f with me. I am the one, call me local cavalry. About to battle you out like I had a gun. You can get up and run, what up? We let the judges, we take it to the judges. All right, so the judges, the judges decide. We, man, we let the judges decide. Yeah. Both of them are going to battle right now, three rounds. All right. right. So the rules are no cursing. Picture that. Nah, I'll take a picture in fact. So you can see the see you on the face when she about to cut my bitch. You stupid bitch. Man. Come on, man, everybody, Shit. hold on. According to scientific rules, the minute you swear, you lose. Yeah. So what's nah. happening? Yo, he yo, it is what it is. It is what it is. He said, he took it. He took it. Niger was our fourth stop, home of Tito, who brought sick rhymes. The challenge was on to find an MC who could wrap circles around him. The judges, Mode 9, the lyrical genius. Sasha, the first lady, and Emma, the new kid that's just blowing up. And one boy who's definitely standing out for an interesting way is the one he calls himself Rap Master. Well, so he says in his own eyes. The Niger final was Black G's up against Dirty A. So could Dirty A really hold his own up against Black G's? Let's see how it went down. Dope. The hip hop colony was gangster, full stop. We saw the most amount of returns from Lethal Dynamic to Kimia and Point Blank 2. Ecstatic came through and she wowed the crowds, but unfortunately she had to step out. And then there was a lady who took the word MCing in a whole different context. I'm gonna be your MC for the day. My name is Tess, and we're gonna be hanging out with Channel O Live. I got some mix, courtesy of Homeboys Radio. Give it up for Homeboys Radio. And I have some t shirts from Channel O, cute Channel O t shirt that I'm gonna be giving away. Man. Could somebody just tell the girl what MC Africa is about, please? <laughs> the judge who's definitely the best judge the entire series is none other than Moafrika. There were things that he said that were like, oh my word, did he just say that? So what are you? A rapper? A radio host? A TV host? Just a hip-hop groupie? Your work? You're fired. I guess I'll see you in hip hop. Fired. Couple that up with Nazizi and Doobies, who were part of the judging panel last year, too. Oh, what's the old girls? <laughs> Come here. Ashi. <laughs> with that mix, the hip hop colony lived up to its name and it outdid itself from last year. Big up to you guys. So, yeah, big up. From the dopest battles. Just about two seconds, because I'm a verbally across the margin. Saying that your dope is like your mother, still claiming to be your health. <laughs> could have made it to the number one spot. <laughs> After a night of long battles, MCs throwing curveballs at one another. To cut these pathetic fuck MCs more than a DJ does on a turntable. The K dynamic. And the judges upping the game a whole lot. Finally, the top two were made. Point Blank and Calligraph. This is how that went down. to where it is that we are today in South Africa where all the winners are going to be me 
Mexico for the first time. This is my first time in South Africa. It's a little cold, but I'm loving it. This is kind of like my lion's den. How the is best to watch out? Let me be honest, my competition really is not here. Coming in from the outside, it's a minus in its own way, but I'm just going to stay focused and go hard. Competition this year is going to be very hectic because everyone's skills is on point, including mine. The moment we've all been waiting for. MC's got to be like a Boy Scout, man. You have to be ready at any time in the game. So what we've done is that we've flipped the script just a little bit for the Step Up to the Mic segment. We've given out five envelopes to the five contestants. Two envelopes saying MC, two envelopes saying Africa, and one saying MC Africa. The MC that picks up the MC Africa envelope, they take it. The MC was none other than Civil Knight holding that for Botswana. Here's how that all went down. It's really important that even though you're a good freestyle artist, that you can perform because once you win, for example, MC Africa, you have to start writing your own tracks now, you know, start performing your own tracks. So performance is very important, yeah. I was just a bit nervous about what's supposed inside the envelope. But when we opened it, I realized it was all cool because performing is an important task of like being an all-round all -round MC. <laughs> now, to the gentleman who've got the Africa, can I please see who's got the Africa cards? So it looks like Nigeria and Kenya, you guys will be collaborating on a track together. With him, you know we're going to bring on the heat, man. I mean, like his name says, we're going to do it point blank. As far as I'm concerned, we're two extreme ends of the upper part of the continent. I come from East Africa, he comes from West Africa. We're about to cross the savannah and make it relevant. That's how we're going to do this. Which team out of the two teams do you think is going to bring about the hottest track? Who do you feel you're going to vibe with the most? Who do you think is going to make the whole of Botswana and the whole of Africa stand up and make a hot track? Um, I'm going to have to choose this team right here. <laughs> Because of Maraza Ace, the loud mouth. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Black Jeans could have brought in that certain element, or maybe uh, Point Blank could have brought in that comical Joker element. But um, I'm, I'm comfortable with the team that I'm with. You see real over there? He looks that's like Jamie Kiss. <laughs> he could do a bit of something that's productive. Other, other pull or push was because was of see real you know? I've had freestyles with them like ever since we met. And it's, it's, it's actually quite nice because for, for the first time, there's someone I can relate to because this freestyle is actually quite as nice as mine. So I'm, I'm not going to underestimate them because they're two or because they're not on my team because they could easily take us out. Well, I, I wouldn't really blame Sybil Knight for choosing that side. Number one, as he said, the fact that they know each other and home advantage. I, I like the way he thinks because if I was in the same situation, I'd probably pick a guy who's closer to me. me. I could do the track now. <laughs> I mean, we're going to do it now. Performing in two minutes, I'm there. I'll do the track now. That's what it is. F*** a hero. Man, your boy is a villain. F*** being Spider-Man. I want to be Venom. I want to be Joker, not the Batman. I don't want to be Raven. I want to be Shao Kahn. Yeah! Doomsday, Shredder, Galactus, Superman? No, Lex Luthor. As I've seen the other MCs, they look tight. They look good, but hey, I believe I'm always the best in everything I go for. How could you come against the kings of the content? I got the greatest of all time around me. Come mm -hmm. against you, you be coming against us like size three. A smaller shoe. <laughs> this is the truth that be coming against you. No need to hear a crowd say I boo you. Every person who's been calling me up, in fact, the whole thing that I've been getting, I could send like for six SMSs straight of was being told, give them hell. So Lucifer's around, so let's do this. So group one of our contestants got to meet up with the guys from Octave who played Civil Knight, Serial, and Maraza got to collaborate and meet up with AKA from Ivy League. AKA is one of the illest rappers in the SA and he's also part of a dope production house. They may be new, but these guys are blowing up everywhere, man. They're behind some of Pro Kid's biggest hits to date. So yeah, man, check it out. I actually prefer us being two on a track than three, because three just be a crowd. Okay, this is the first one. We had like an hour freestyle session and cool point blank just kept on bringing them things. Bring. I actually think he actually yeah, she has a very, very good chance of winning this thing. You know what I'm talking about? We got you with black G when I understand the phase. So I let my brother from the west side of Africa kick it because point blank already done left today. It was pretty easy. The guys are very energetic, so that was pretty good for to work out. They can freestyle, which is easier to get, you know, get, get to know the MC a little bit more. Hey, yo, there's nuns like me. 
and I don't waste time. I just do it like Nike. You already know who it be. The illest MC, Black G's or Betty, call me D-E-Z. The way they took us through it, like, now we understand why we're